Fezmath. Okay, so you want to make a cool Fez like this. You can go as Matt Smith for the next Comic-Con, but you've got to figure out how to make the pattern. It's basically just a circle for the top and then this shape here that makes the body, which is sort of like a, an elbow macaroni, right? But how do you make it the right size for your head? Well, I figured out a very simple formula to get it exactly right for you. Remember when you took algebra as a child, you thought, when am I ever going to use this? Personally, I use math and algebra all the time. All a fez is, is a cone, right? If you take a circle and you take any part out of it, you can curl it up into some kind of a cone. If you take out 45 degrees and you've got like a, like a hat you might wear in a, in a rice paddy, for example, to keep the sun out. If you have 270 degrees, like a Pac-Man, you have a steeper cone, right? If you take 180 degrees of a circle and fold that around, you've got more of a teepee shape. You're still not really reaching the cone shape of this. Now, the ideal shape that I've come up with actually is 45 degrees. If you take 45 degrees of a circle and curl it into a cone, that is the right magic ratio to give you a good, a good fez taper, okay? A 45 degree thing. We've got to draw a circle big enough that we can cut this arc out of it, okay? So that means we've got to find out the radius of that circle so we can draw an arc. Okay, first we've got to start with what we know, which is the circumference of our head. You take a tape measure like that, figure out where you want your fez to go, and I did this already and I came up with 21 and a half inches. So for me, the circumference of my head, H, equals 21.5 inches. Now we want to cut out a 45 degree angle, right, of a much bigger circle. Now 45, that is a half of a quarter of a circle. 360 degrees divided by 45 degrees equals 8. It's an eighth of a circle. Therefore, the circumference of the circle that we want is 8 times 21.5. What we really want to figure out is the radius of the circle. So we can draw that shape and have our pattern. Okay, so how do we solve for r? Okay, because a 45 degree segment is an eighth of the circumference. Eight times h, which is your head circumference, equals the circumference of the circle, okay? And the circumference of a circle equals pi times the diameter of the circle. So 8h equals pi times the diameter, or pi times 2 times the radius. So divide both sides by 2, and we have 4 times h equals pi times r. So 4h over pi equals r radius. So we know that 4h over pi is the same as 4 over pi times h. So pi is 3.14, so whatever, we have modern technology, check it out. 4 divided by pi equals 1.273. 1.273 times h equals r. So all we had to do is take our h, our head measurement, 21.5, times 1.273 to get our radius. Okay, and we know our radius equals 27.37 inches. Okay, that's all we need to know to figure out how to draw our big shape. You can make these out of paper all day and try different things, but I've figured out it's five inches. So I'll mark those two things on there. So I mark out 27.37 inches Notice I've also taped down the paper on the cutting board so that doesn't move around at all. All right, I need some string that's not going to stretch. So I've got this birthday party ribbon here. I'm just going to tie a loop at one end of it. I'm going to tie a bowl in. But any old loop will do as long as it's not going to slip. Okay, now I stick a pen through this loop. I'm going to hold it at my radius, hold it at the center of the, of the arc, and just draw 
my radius here. Now I want to draw the top of the hat as well. I've already pre-made this mark for five inches up from that. Put the pen there, that on the center mark. Make sure my pen is straight up and down. And there we go. I'm also going to tape my uh, string down up here on the fulcrum. You'll see why in a minute. Okay, so the length of the bottom edge here is 21 and a half inches. How do we measure that? Well, let's just start there and take our ruler and just measure around and just kind of arc it around so the numbers will stay in the right place. There's 18. Need three and a half more. So that's 21 and a half from there to there. Now remember I taped the end of the string down over there without pulling it too tightly. I can just lay that there and figure out where the inside is so that I can cut this out in a way that exactly is on the radius of our giant virtual circle. And we can cut that out. And as always, I'm using my Frisker's cutting board and an X-Acto knife, which is the best way to cut anything. Now you see I'm gonna cut this an extra inch here and leave the line so that I can test it out. So to test it out, you just fold it over to the line and tape it together. Put it on your head. And that'll give you a pretty accurate description and feeling of the shape of the thing that you're making. We need to cut out the circle for the top. Okay, how do we find the size of that circle? Well, we just kind of do it in reverse. We measure the inside of our elbow macaroni, and that is how long the circumference is of the circle at the top of the hat. Do our same ruler technique, bend it around the shape. That is 17 and a half inches. That's the circumference of our circle. And because we know pi times the diameter equals the circumference, then we know pi times the diameter equals 17.5 inches. So divide both sides by pi. The diameter equals 17.5 divided by pi. 17.5 divided by pi equals 5.57. And so the radius divided by two equals 2.78. So the radius of our circle is 2.78, so we take our compass. There's our top, and it's just the right size. See? Now we cut those out of fabric, we make our fez, and the next thing you know, we're cool like Doctor Who. Now if you'd like to watch a video about how to actually sew this fez together, click right here and it'll take you right to it. So to recap, after all this math, all you gotta know is 1.273. All you gotta do is take the measurement of your head and multiply it by 1.273. That's all you need to know. And that's the radius, the length of your string to draw the big arc to make your pattern, okay? Watch the video for the rest of the details. If you enjoyed it, tell me so in the comments. Like, subscribe, tell your friends, forward it on Facebook, tweet it, make a hat. And if I see you at Comic-Con, say, hey, dude, I watched your video. That's how I made this hat. That would be cool. It's bigger on the inside. <laughs>